This is Brian with ICANN and I'm here at Infocom 2023 and uh, we're showing off our new 19 inch NDI teleprompter monitor. So this monitor is going to be at a, a PoE++ and NDI decoder and encoder. So that means that you can have power and video come through the same cable. So it's a very simple setup. All you do is just mount it to the teleprompter and then you just plug in your ethernet cable and then it's already ready to go. So uh, we also do have traditional video sources as well like, like SDI, HDMI, and VGA. So one of the features of this monitor is that it allows you to set nine NDI presets that are on your network and uh, you can put them into the monitor and then you can access each one of these with, uh, with these nine preset buttons. So this monitor also features PoE++ power, uh, so that way if you want to use PoE++ as your power source, you can just use a single Ethernet cable that's going to uh, receive the video signal from the NDI streams, and it's also going to be able to get power from your PoE++ switch. The protocol that it uses is IEEE 802.3 BT Type 4. So this monitor also features standard video connections like SDI, HDMI, and VGA, and it also has a 12 volt barrel connector for power if you want to power it just with the standard uh, 12 volt power connector. If you want to use this monitor as an encoder, you can do that as well. So whatever camera you have on your teleprompter system, you can just go out of the SDI connector on the camera and then plug it into the, the SDI connector on the teleprompter monitor. And then that'll then encode the signal uh, into an NDI stream on your network. If you're using a switcher like a TriCaster or a VMix, and you switch to that NDI stream that's being encoded here, it'll automatically light up the tally light to let you know if the camera is live. Um, the tally light also works with the standard you know, GPIO switcher. So we have a three pin uh, XLR connector here, so you can make your own cables with your own switchers. If you have like any sort of breakout board connector, you can just make your own cables and then plug them into the three pin XLR connector, and then that'll work with the tally light as well. Another feature of the three pin XLR tally connector is that if you want to use like an extension, if you want to mount it somewhere to your teleprompter, you can do that as well. You go out of the XLR connector and then you can mount it to your tally light anywhere you want and then it'll light up accordingly. Well, this version here is our first prototype, but the final version that comes out is gonna have two different tally lights for you to choose from. So if you want to use this as a talent monitor, you will want to use the front facing tally light and then if you're using it as a script monitor like this, you'll want to use the, the top facing tally light. So we're going to have a switch, like a toggle switch on here that will allow you to switch between different tally lights. So the way that we have this set up at the Infocom booth is that we're going to be using it as a talent monitor that's uh, displaying an NDI stream. So we have our computer here running Brainstorm software to render the virtual set. And that's, that's outputting an NDI stream, which then we can capture on our monitor here. That, uh, that's able to pick up the NDI stream. And what that's gonna show is a fully rendered set for me to look at. And uh, I can just look at it and see what the entire virtual set is gonna look like without having to just get a stream of me looking at the, uh, the green screen behind me. I can actually get more of a confidence of what, what, the, uh, what the finished product is gonna look like. For more information about our NDI tally monitor, visit iCanCorp.com.